last night, and I swore on the, on the core of my eye, I saw something kind of just race across the sky. Oh, oh wow. And I'm pretty sure I saw a meteor, pretty sure. Uh, but it makes sense, actually, because the uh, Geminid meteor shower is actually going to be at peak uh, tomorrow evening into early Thursday morning. But, of course, you can still see some of those meteors uh, just a few days before or a few days after. See, so, yeah, I'm pretty confident that's what I saw. But uh, usually, you know, you can look north in the sky and have a better chance of seeing you know, the most. But really, you could look anywhere and likely see uh, at least a few. Now, this meteor shower does produce about 100 meteors per hour at peak, and it will be mostly clear. But light pollution is still such a huge problem in this area, even out in the country. There's enough light pollution where it can be hard to see, of course, this many. You could maybe catch a couple uh, with the naked eye. So just maybe go out uh, right about, oh, I'd say by 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. is probably a, a best, the best time here uh, to see something like that. And you may be lucky enough to see a few shooting stars, uh, but you likely won't with, again, the light pollution, see maybe 100 per hour, but you could certainly see at least a few. So worth checking out. 3926, that was the high and low today so far, although I suspect, especially by uh, before midnight tonight, this could end up getting just a little bit lower uh, with temperatures already kind of in a free fall. Uh, 38 and 25, that's the average for uh, this time of year. Uh, 30, uh, 69, that's the uh, record high set back in 2015. Uh, 1962, seven below. That was the record. Um, actually, you know, I, I, I'm sure we'll see an update to the record, uh, the high temperature today. We actually end up getting uh, closer to 45 degrees. Uh, so I'm sure the National Weather Service will update that shortly. But uh, storm track radar showing mostly clear skies. Oh, it was such a beautiful day. With the wind, it felt a little bit cooler, but yeah, most everybody got in the mid-40s today uh, with that brilliant sun. Zooming out a little more, not much evidence that there's going to be anything getting in the way of this really decent pattern. A little bit of snow moving through, light snow, moving through Nebraska, western Iowa, but, I mean, that won't be our problem. In fact, we're going to see temperatures back to right around 40 tomorrow afternoon. 41 in Kansas City, 58 in Memphis, looking up to the north and west. These are traditionally colder cities, right, that we kind of look to to see if Colder air is headed our way. Upper 20s in both Bismarck and Minneapolis. So, yeah, cool there, but even this time of year, that seems almost unusually mild. A future track radar showing mostly clear skies heading into tomorrow morning. Could start off with a few clouds. I don't really expect that it's going to be an overly uh, cloudy morning as much as uh, we kind of thought yesterday. Uh, there were some signs that maybe the clouds could be a little stubborn, uh, but most of those clouds should actually dive off to our south. So, Indy will see more morning cloud cover than northern Indiana, northwest Ohio. Mostly clear skies through tomorrow afternoon by Thursday morning. Mostly sunny skies expected. That's a trend that will continue into Friday. Wind gusts, not going to be an issue tomorrow. We're going to see uh, the wind speeds between about 5, 10 miles per hour, and there will really no, uh, be no gusts. So not expecting a wind chill factor at all. Uh, heading into tomorrow afternoon, well, you should see temperatures right around 40, but by Thursday and Friday afternoons, getting closer to 50. Upper 40 is Thursday. By Friday afternoon, I actually think we'll see plenty of 50s locally. A little bit cooler over the weekend, as well as some increasing clouds. But yeah, overall, looking like a pretty nice rest of the week, weekend, and perhaps even well into next week. Partly to mostly sunny skies, temperatures to right around 50 on Friday, cooling a bit into the weekend. Partly sunny, upper 40s, 47 Saturday, 49 on Sunday. And then temperatures get even cooler by Tuesday of next week. We'll see high temperatures only at about 40 degrees with overnight lows in the mid-20s. So yes, cooler, but still above average. Still spoiled in a lot of ways yes. too, Matt. Yes. Thank you. On Wall Street.